So how important is roofing underlayment? Well, actually, it's one of the most important parts of your entire roofing system. It is what actually provides the waterproofing ability of your roof and makes sure that no water gets in. At Sol Vista Roofing, we only use synthetic underlayment. Synthetic underlayment, example right here, right? It's a blend of plastics, polymers, and rubberized material all interwoven together. It's the strongest type of material, the best at waterproofing, and it lasts the longest. For example, you can't tear this. It's really difficult to tear, so it's also safer for our installers when they're walking on the roof up there. It's not gonna tear and, and result in them slipping while on there on a steep slope roof. That's what we're installing on this roof right here in Aurora, under these shingles, synthetic underlayment. Now what we take off, the underlayment that we remove from most roofs that are installed by other contractors is called felt paper. Let me show you what that looks like. This is what felt paper looks like. It is actually felt, it's a layer of felt that's like this then saturated in asphalt material, which does do a good job of waterproofing. I'll give it that. But this type of underlayment is not as strong. In fact, it's very, it's very brittle. It becomes brittle very soon, easy to tear. It becomes very slick, you know, so it's a little bit more risky for the guys to be walking on on the roofs. We don't think it lasts as long and we don't think it's as good at waterproofing. So we don't install this on any roofs that we install. So we have synthetic underlayment, that's preferred. We have felt paper underlayment, which is a little bit cheaper. There's also high temp underlayment, which is a little bit more reinforced for high temperature, especially at higher elevations and especially for metal roofs to be able to accept and deflect that hot uh, radiant heat that's coming in from the sun. Now also, uh, part of your underlayment system is called ice and water shield. It's a much thicker asphalt and bitumen based underlayment. And that's what we put usually, uh, based on code, we put it on all of the eaves, the bottom edge of your roof, and within all the valleys, because those are the most susceptible to leaks and ice dams. This here, this is ice and water shield. Let me unroll that. So this is ice and water shield. You can see it's just thicker and heavier. So it's asphalt based with granulation and bitumen. So it is gonna be a thicker waterproof around the most vulnerable parts of your roof, the eaves and the valleys. It's self-adhering. So you remove this layer here and the asphalt actually will self-adhere to the roof deck. We don't need to nail it in like we do most other types of underlayment. But it does a great, do, great job of making sure that your roof is going to stay waterproof and keep your home and family safe and dry for years to come. Anyway, hopefully that helps shed some light on different types of underlayment and how they're used. Thanks.